Expect to see them in ponds and marshes, but recently they've been spotted in neighborhoods and even along busy roads. We're talking about alligators. Now, state leaders, environmentalists, and hunters are working together to keep gators off the streets and in nature. Our Molly McBride joins us with one way to keep the state's alligator population under control. Molly. Cameron, some people say hunting the animals is an effective way to keep alligators out of populated areas, but not everyone can hunt them. You have to be selected from a permit lottery, which opens up in just two days here in the Palmetto State. And people from across the country will throw their name in the hat for a chance to be able to hunt gators here in South Carolina. The state's alligator coordinator, Jay Botfoloski, says he's expecting more than 8,000 applicants, but the state will only hand out 1,000 alligator hunting permits. Provide as much opportunity as we can, but not so much that it that it starts to severely impact the population. But Filoski says the number of 1,000 is based on the estimated alligator population in the state and the harvest trends over time. However, he says the majority of the hunters who get a permit won't be successful. The way that we manage our, our resources now um, and the, the, the regular interactions with humans and wildlife um, the hunting program is not necessarily bad. Alligator advocate Tanya Bonita Tibu says she has no problem with gator hunting. In fact, I think it's, it's relatively good right now to keep the population in check. However, she says it's important to manage the state's hunting program alongside the removal of nuisance gators. I spoke with one alligator hunter, Bradley Taylor, who tells me hunting is normally a great way to keep the populations of animals in check. However, alligators somewhat self regulate because they're cannibalistic. With that being said, the more we develop, we're encroaching on their habitat. And a lot of these animals are forced into places where more and more people live. So we have to cut back some on that population you know, for expansion of the human population. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources says there are approximately 900 to 1,000 alligators removed from the state per year when all removal types are totaled together. That's including nuisance removal, public lands hunting, and private lands hunting. 300 of those are removed as a part of the state's nuisance removal program. The lottery will be open between June 1st and July 15th. Reporting live, I'm Molly McBride, Live 5 News.